Hey y'all, so today we're going to be making uh, matcha tea and peppermint soap. So this is a really good one um, if you have a lot of like skin inflammation because it's really cooling and soothing. Um, this is a really popular one in summer because that peppermint just feels great on a nice sunburn, stuff like that. Um, so this does have actual matcha tea powder and green tea leaves in it. Um, and then the fragrance is just straight up peppermint from Nature's Garden. And then I also add French green clay to this. Um, so between the French green clay and the matcha tea powder, this gets a really nice green color to it. It's really lovely. I like it. Um, and then this soap actually, so this recipe, it's pretty much the same as I always do. Olive oil, castor oil, cocoa, butter, coconut oil, shea butter, and grapeseed oil. Um, and the cocoa butter and the shea butter are both unrefined, so they're yellow and brown, and cocoa butter smells like a chocolate bar. I love it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get to the soaping. I'm making a double batch today, and I bought larger containers, so we won't have like a, um, <laughs> like if you saw the oats and honey bar um, video, uh, that almost got real messy real quick, because my container got really really full really really fast uh, and that was scary so I upped the container size it's also a little more clear so you can probably see better what's going on um, and so we'll go ahead and get started and get this going I've already got my melted oils here and I've already got my lye over there and they are nice and cool and about a hundred degrees so we'll go ahead and get this open all right, y'all, first things first, let's get our gloves on. I know it's a miracle I'm putting my gloves on before I start to do anything. <laughs> I always forget, I always forget until it's too late. And then you got lye on your hands and it's just not a good time. But here we are, I've actually got it done beforehand this time. You should be proud. Um, so we're actually gonna go ahead and put the additives in before I do the lye. Um, the fragrance will go in last. But I do want to go ahead and get the peppermint leaves um, in there. Natural, organic. Where's the lens? Right there. Organic ground up peppermint leaves. They're really, 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 um, I don't want to say odorous, but what's the word? You know, they have a nice strong smell to them. It's lovely. Let's go ahead and get those ground up a little bit in there. This is our, this is matcha tea powder, as well as French green clay. If you notice the lighter color at the bottom, that's the French green clay, and then on top is the matcha, just because I measured the, the clay first. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. This will give it a nice green color. in. So let's go ahead and add our lye water. I'm so terrible at this. Oh, I'm not doing bad this time. It's a miracle. Okay, so I actually sped this part up quite a bit because uh, I had to mix this for a few minutes. And I didn't want y'all to just sit there and watch me mixing for several minutes and yammering on. But if you notice, this actually goes from that green color. It turns brown pretty quickly, um, actually. And you'll notice that it's a nice chocolatey color. 
by the time I'm done mixing it. This is because the lye is reacting with the green tea. And so what happens is um, it turns brown like this, and then as it cures, it turns back into that green color. And just now you can see I was adding the fragrant soil to get that all nice and mixed in there. Um, and then I'm finishing up the mixing process, and then I'll be ready to pour in just a moment. I like this container. It gives me nice and lot, lots of space to work with, so I'm not drowning my stick blender. Actually, this is getting thick pretty quick. I think we are almost ready to pour. Go ahead and bring your mold over here. I'm sorry, you may not be able to see this too well. So we're gonna have to do it one at a time because of the shelf. actually beat it this time. It's a miracle. Probably because I was soaping at a cooler temperature like you're supposed to. Half the time I don't wait long enough because I'm so darn impatient. Also terrible at scraping these out. Alright, let's give it a nice slam over here. This one actually did just fine on its own. Nah, I could go for a good slam. Get all the air bubbles out. How lovely. Right now it's brown, but it'll turn green as it lightens up and cures. Now, let's see if we can make the top all nice and wavy and pretty. Okay, so I sped this part up too because it got a little redundant, you know, just doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. So I wanted to speed it up a little bit. Here you can really see how it's got that. It's turning that dark brown chocolatey color, which is interesting because um, in the next little clip, I'm going to put a couple of pictures in here so you can see what it looks like um, in the molds now. And then a couple of pictures of what it looked like in the molds before cutting. Um, so you can see that before I actually get to the cutting process. Okay, y'all, welcome back. So it is now a, it probably like two weeks later. I think, I want to say it's a week, but it's probably closer to two. Um, because for some reason, this batch just did not want to set up in the molds. 
Um, it was sticking. It was weird. Like, um, it's not going to affect the final product, but like you can legit see where it was sticking to the mold after a couple days. And I was like, all right, baby, we're going to let you sit in there for a week and chill out and get nice and firm before I take you out. So I'm not about to mess you up. Um, that was the Nag Champa. And then here is the green, the matcha tea and peppermint came out nice and lovely it's a really nice earthy green you can see like the flex of the green tea i mean the peppermint tea leaves and stuff like that and then you can see this one was sticking to the mold as well like i said it won't affect the final product the soap is a soap um but i want to do a little video of me cutting these i know i filmed the making of the matcha tea and peppermint video um that's what this is probably attached to at the end of the Nag Champa I did not because I'll be perfectly honest, I mixed this soap, it was like 1 o'clock in the morning, I had work the next morning, I was unable to sleep, I just was not feeling it, so I was like, alright, I'm just going to mix this soap and be on my merry way. So let's go ahead and get to cutting. Let's cut some soap. Alright, I've already got that nice and taut. Let's just hope they didn't get too firm and my cutter won't cut through them now. That would be terrible. I'd cry a little bit on the outside. You'd see it happen. And now this soap, I would have liked to top it with some green moss agate, but unfortunately, ooh, that looks really interesting on the inside. Um, but unfortunately, I ran out of it like a silly goose, so I have to order more. Um, so this batch did not have it on it. Oh, that's neat. So you can see it went through a partial, it went through a gel phase, but not all the way through. Um, and this will lighten up as it goes too. This will all turn like this light green that it is on the outside, the whole thing. But it looks nice and interesting on the inside. Smells lovely. I'm probably going to speed this part up quite a bit.